Welcome back to America Trends. I am your host, Deb Cole. I am here with Julie Broad to end this segment uh, talking about book publishing. We'll talk a little bit about that, but let's share the poll results that apparently you also voted on now that you're in America. And the debate is about minimum wage and the poll was how high should minimum wage be? And 10% came in that it was, oh, I'm sorry, 62% came in less than 10%. $10. Oh, sorry, ten dollars. Um, I need glasses. Um, more than what is this? More than ten dollars was only two percent, and more than fifteen dollars was twenty-five percent, and don't need it, twelve percent. So apparently, there less than ten is the majority of the vote. But some people say don't need it. You're saying don't. No. Well, the market will decide. Right. right. If you don't want to work for four dollars an hour, you're not going to take that job. You're going to look for one that pays more. Right. And if you think you're worth twenty five, then, you know, either make yourself worth it. Right. 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 <laughs> or you're going to keep looking for a job until you get what you want. So I think the market can ultimately decide does minimum wage personally. Does Canada have any type of minimum wage? Yeah, wage we do. Requirement? It's it's different in each province. But OK. Yeah. OK. So you were against that there, too. Yeah, I feel yeah. the same. I think yeah. the market should decide. Yeah. OK. I like that. Let's uh, go ahead and tweet the Julie Broad, the if Julie you Broad. agree. Use hashtag Trends TV or tweet me at Coach Deb and tell us what do you think? Do you agree? Do you not agree? Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit about is the self publishing industry. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring you back tomorrow to talk all about it because it's a huge thing. Yeah. During break, I was getting some uh, messages that they wanted to learn more about the scams that you had on YouTube. Yeah. So if, can you share that with us tomorrow? Some of the scams to yeah. avoid, what to do? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk about that. And we'll also talk about um, you know, how being an author puts you in the 1%. You know, everybody talks about the 1%. Well, mm. we'll talk about how you can become a part of that 1% uh, by 1%. being an author. That is huge, actually, yeah. because that's what everybody wants to be in the 1%. Exactly. Uh, give us a hint. Like, what is it that when you became an author, how did yeah. your life change? Uh, well, first, I ended up on TV doing media interviews across the country where I was the same person before the book came right, out, right. same expertise, but post book, you know, media wanted to talk to me. That's one thing. Speaking, I started to get paid to speak where I was always speaking for free before. Um, Again, same expertise, same talk. Right. But with the book, it changes a lot of things for you. So, yeah. So all of a sudden you become a more important person because you're an author and you wrote the book. <laughs> it is interesting. It's it the 1%. Is it, is, yeah. it is the 1%. Yeah. I, I found after I wrote a book, same similar type of uh, experiences. The biggest thing was no one needed the resume with references anymore because they knew yeah. if they read the book, they liked what I had to say and they wanted more. Yeah. So I call it the new resume for business owners. Yeah. Right. Like here, here's my book. You don't need a business card or a resume. And the best is they probably don't read it, but they think, you know, like they you up without even reading it, That's right? a very good point. It's, it's that credibility and that expertise. Yeah, so if you have been thinking about writing a book, you've got this burning desire, or if you know you've got a book inside you, tune in tomorrow to America Trends, and we're going to talk all about the book publishing industry, the trend, why it's so hot, and then a few things what to avoid, because again, because it's a hot trending topic, you have people to try that try to scam you. Yeah. And uh, there are people literally that will look at trends and then create inventions on, oh, how do I scam people? And yeah. the book publishing is no different. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you have a specific question, you can send us a tweet at American Trends or coached at Coach Deb or at the Julie Broad, and we'll make sure we answer your question about self-publishing. I love how you are the Julie Broad, like not just Julie Broad, she is the Julie Broad, <laughs> otherwise known as Julie the Book Broad. That's right. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel. It's super useful. I've been a subscriber for quite some time, and recently you've got these videos up there 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 views. So go ahead and support her, give her a like and subscribe to her channel because when you help her, she's able to produce even more better videos, yeah. especially at the YouTube headquarters in LA. That's so right. <laughs> go ahead and support Julie. You'll see her again tomorrow. And any last words for our audience? Uh, no, thank you for having me. It was fun. You, well, the, the neat thing is Jackson's going to tune in tonight. So let's say goodbye to Jackson. <laughs> Bye, Jackson. Go to bed. I hope you're already asleep. Yeah, Jackson. you should be. Yeah. <laughs> but we're, I'm going to start saying goodnight to him like midway. That's right. like, Go to bed, Jackson. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in to America Trends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And be sure to go to YTA Club and subscribe so that you can get all of the episodes, including when we had Batman on the other day. That's right. That's Batman. That's right. Yeah.